So, yesterday was my edit day, but as I got out of bed and started to make coffee, I realized that it was a really, really beautiful moon up in the sky still, even though that it was light outside. And I thought to myself, oh, I should really be out photographing the full moon in daylight, but I couldn't do that. I had, had a lo lots to edit, but I vowed to myself that if the conditions tomorrow are great, I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna photograph the super full moon but it's not full today but a half moon still got some character so my plan today is to photograph the super moon so i drove out to the place where i photographed caroline in the storm a couple of weeks back because when i walked around there i found this kind of alien landscape at least in my head it's kind of alien pointy rocks uh, almost like a foreign planet if you put your imagination to it so that image kind of stuck in my head since then and i noticed that the this, the moon set kind of coincides with that location if we're lucky so fingers crossed and as you can see behind me the sun is starting to rise and this is one of the first few times i've gotten up early and not photograph the sunrise but i'm gonna photograph the moon set so i'm kind of hoping that it won't be a spectacular show because otherwise my brain was, ah, oh, I should have photographed some sunrise today. The, the sunrise is on the other side of the island, so I can't get any decent shots from here. Or I can try, but it won't be as spectacular as it would have been from the other side. And you've been to, with me to the other side of the island, so you know what I'm talking about. It's, it can be quite good, quite good. So, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's the first time photographing the moonset. And now I just need to go around looking for some moon-like landscape. <laughs> oh, I chose the wrong day to photograph the moon. I definitely chose the wrong day. That's just an extraordinary sunrise. Too bad I'm on this side of the island. I'm struggling to find a composition, to be honest. I've, uh, I found one, but the problem is that the moon isn't in position yet. And I really don't want to wait half an hour for the moon and then find out that it's too bright to photograph it. So I think I'm going to move on. As I was moving around, I realized that for this to work, I need to use my long lens. I can't use my, my 60 millimeter lens. If I do that, I need to crop in quite immensely and I don't want to do that. So I broke out my 100 to 300 lens and it's been a long time since I used it. And photographing the moon, it gets really small in your, in your image. So right now, what I've done is that I found this little tree <laughs> of sorts and I'm using that in the foreground to create these uh, lines and I'm tweaking to get the moon in between the branches. And the moon moves really, really fast. It's kind of put in some, an extra gear of some sort. So it's, it's starting to fade away and at the same time it's kind of moving out of my subject. And that's too bad. So I set up here. And right now it's in the perfect position. It's between two branches. So I'm just going to take this image really quick. I'm using a four second delay because this lens is quite heavy and this tripod is quite small. So there's a lot of movement in the tripod when I hit the buttons. I need four seconds in order for the tripod to cool down so I don't get any motion blur. I think that the moon is now in position where I was earlier, so I'm going to head back and photograph the moon there. So I ran back because I was worried that the moon has gone too far, but luckily it hasn't. I'm currently working this composition and it's, it's a tough one to be honest because 
right now I'm really really low and that works well with the shape that I'm after but at the same time I don't get the moon yet but I get the reflection of the moon in the water from this angle and that is quite cool so just waiting for kind of st still water I suppose let's put the focus where it should be right there and now we wait no waves allowed So this is the place where I originally wanted the moon, but I miscalculated the moon set completely. So the sun is def definitely up, so to speak. And I'm pretty sure that my face is completely overexposed in this sunlight. So I'm using the rock in the middle there to shield my camera from the sun. So the camera is in the shadow of that rock it's against the sun and it's really hard to get the dark areas bright enough to see them when you're directly against the sun so I'm shooting four exposures and I'm gonna bracket them f8 ISO 200 and no shutter delay this time because the camera is steady as a rock and yeah so I focus on the rock because the rock is in the middle of the frame and that's my main subject the first one I'm going to shoot in dark exposure. It's 3200 of a second. There you go. And I'm going to move up to 500 of a second. And I'm going to move all the way up to 60 of a second. No, 80 of a second, sorry. And then finally, 30 of a second. And there we go. And then I'm going to stitch those four images together in Lightroom, creating an HDR and that will give me the full dynamic range. I moved back to my previous location where I shot the moon with the with the circle shaped stones because now that I'm not focusing on the moon I can get the stones in the angle I originally wanted and I couldn't leave without taking that image so I'm not focusing on the moon anymore I'm just focusing on the rocks so I'm doing a long exposure shot I bumped the ISO up to 640 and uh, I'm shooting a 50 second exposure I focused on the rocks there and I put the camera really low so I can get the uh, the water and the ocean almost at sea level so that was my goal so now I'm really curious how it turned out it's a good spot it's a good spot and hopefully the ocean ain't too blurry let's see here And that, my friends, was my final image for today. Thank you for sticking all the way through to the end of the video. And if you like what you saw, maybe consider subscribing. It helps a lot. And also leave a like and a comment if you fancy that. I really appreciate it. And I usually respond to every single comment. So keep them coming. And I would love to hear your feedback on, on my work. So I guess I'll see you in about a week. And uh, in the meantime, take care of each other. And yeah, goodbye.